Keystone Experience cultivates purpose, relationships, and leadership using the four strands of Laurel's curricular braid, civic engagement, entrepreneurship, global studies, and STEAM. During their ninth grade year, girls have the opportunity to apply to this program, and once accepted, they explore issues through their lens of choice via guided research, Harkness discussions, internships, and travel over a three and a half year period. Using expert guidance from mentors and support from cohort peers, each capstone candidate creates a research focus based on her individual interests. This unique program provides committed upper school students with opportunities to approach real world issues while building mentor and peer relationships. I would describe the capstone experience as an opportunity to learn outside of the classroom. You have the chance to work with experienced mentors in all different fields. You also have the opportunity to exercise student leadership and teamwork within your cohort, and also just to learn all you possibly can about your own research project and what you're passionate about. So in 10th grade, we had the opportunity to take part in Harkness discussions, which were roundtable discussions where we would read academic articles each week. And those Harkness articles actually helped a lot of girls figure out what they wanted to pursue for their project. Ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to do something with bridges. I loved building and looking at structures. When I first applied into Capstone, I knew immediately that I wanted to do something with bridges. I saw a need for a bridge at the Butler campus, especially for access to the track, and so I proposed the idea to the director of Capstone, and it became a reality, because uh, there is that need for a bridge there. So in year three, that's when I really began to dive into my Capstone research focus. I was assigned two mentors. Without my mentors, I would have never been able to make this process come to fruition. They were central to me figuring out how I was going to go about this entire process. The Capstone experience has prepared Claire for a future in architecture or engineer or design in a lot of different ways. It introduced her to the design process. A lot of people don't realize what goes into design, that it requires a lot of work, a lot of research, a lot of study. Working with Claire was really um, an exciting experience. She is such an intelligent young lady. The type of work that Claire was involved with was definitely something that you do when you're in a college age level. Um, probably more of a junior, senior in architecture school. So she's really been exposed to a lot of things at a very early age and really responded well to not be afraid to jump in and calculate or build or whatever she had to do to get the job done. So at the conclusion of your capstone project, you have to go through an oral defense. So it's really a great conclusion to the entire process. It's similar to defending a thesis. Claire's confidence in presenting has only increased, which is great to see. At her final capstone review, I was able to watch her present to a larger audience, and that can be a pretty intimidating experience, but she handled it marvelously. She was really excited about her project. She could speak to it really well and I'm glad to see it look like she had a lot of fun. Having a concept develop into a reality is um, something that very few people get to experience, so she's been able to design a bridge and work on the calculations and see it actually being built. One of the biggest growths I've seen with Claire is her enthusiasm. Every process she's gotten more and more excited about, so that enthusiasm has been really exciting. The most valuable part of Capstone for me was that each step helped me build upon the next one, and so I was able to learn all I possibly could about every area. To learn outside of the classroom and take some of the skills that I did learn inside the classroom from my physics classes or my math classes, and then apply that to a real-world problem and solve that problem, was one of the greatest experiences I've had the opportunity to take part in. 